was ascending the voltage mm. and has some problem. We have four techniques for this situation. Four techniques. The first one is which is so fast but needs more training is crawl to crawl. Okay. The second one is using our long cow stage for releasing the mm -hmm. crawl. The second one is using the foot loop by pushing it by foot. And the fourth one is using the foot loop but we use our weight over it. So there are four different uh, Five. ways. Yes, types of rescue. Okay. Now I'm going to use the crawl to crawl technique, which is the fastest one, but needs more train. Okay, the victim is on the rope. Again, I should climb. So I take the rope out. Doesn't matter if I'm this side or the other side. And we start climbing. To get to the victim. Then again, pushing. Going up. This time, I don't need to pass the Victim. So, I reach here, I use my short cuffs there, here and here. Now I go inside. I should go over the Victim. So I try to make the distance between these two crawls as low as possible. Just two, three centimeters will be enough. So I'm totally close. I make here a bit, you know, less stops. And it's time to put the rope in the descender. So I take the rope. I change the direction so I can easily work with it. I put the rope. I take this. It's important to take as much as possible. Then I use the brake and I use a full block. One and Do a pitch that a pitch As you said, one and a half. There are different, you know, kinds of uh, blocks, as you know. Now it's time to release his crow. For doing it, first, I go in a proper position. I try to release my torso as much as possible. And I try to tight the victim's torso as much as possible. Then, I'm just taking it away to show you better. It should, uh, it, this way you, I, I have to put it again, but I'm just taking it away to show you the procedure better. Now, I take the crow in my right hand. I guess I'm an inch And take this part of the crow with my left hand. Now, I'm going to do three works, three jobs together. First, I put my upper body down as much as possible. While I'm tight on my core muscles, so my foot tries to come up. Second, I'm taking the crawl 
and I'm using my foot to take it up. And sec third one, I'm using my left hand to open it. All these three will happen simultaneously. So I do it like this. And then going down by control. Now the weight is over his descender. As I told you, I'm on my crawling humor. I prepared the two carabiners. It's time to descend. If it's needed, I have to take care of the victim. As we get to the ground, stopping. And the rest of the... Second one. Second. First was crawl to crawl, and now we are going to use our line cow tail <coughs> for doing it. Again, the same procedure as before. We reach to the victim. Short cow tail. We can make it a bit. Put the extra stuff away. Okay. We go up there. Now I'm changing the position of the descender, make it comfortable for myself. I put the rope in it. Taking. I'm not going to lock it now because I have to do some procedures and then I will do it later. And it's a stop, so there is no. Uh, risk. Now it's time to have a, a balance here. I will use my long cow tail. I put it here and then I connect it with the uh, body. This harness or it can be also here, it doesn't matter. With a small one it's better to put it here because it will be easier to work with it. Then I make it tighter. Mm -hmm. Now I open my crow. So my weight is over the uh, long cow stick. Now I will use my foot to, to take it up. Now I can open the crow. And I will make it as tight as possible and then we uh, lock the ascent, the descent. Okay? Now it's time to put the weight back on him. 
I will also prepare the two hardliner again. So I can do it just in one time. I mean I come over it, open the cow state and put the two hardliners and sit on it. Or I can put my crawl up there to be you know more comfortable and do whatever I have to and then change it. victim. So for this technique, the end of the rope should be open. No, open. It should be released and if there's a replay you cannot use this technique. So for doing it we need about three paragliners, which we use them as a chain from the anchor point. Where is the second cow tail? It's here in our room. Now I have to do some procedures to take him out. At first I need to, uh, you know, come over the friction which is here. It's a bit harder. So I use this technique. We put our ascender downward.
here and charge it. Now I try to use my foot strength and also trying to use my hands for taking the rope up. So both of them at the same time. The friction has finished. It was the now hardest part to change the direction. After that, it's not much harder to do the rest of the procedure. So we just continue it. One of the most important points. Somebody are using this point instead of making the pulley here, they put it over here. And it's not good. I don't know why. But you will go down. Like you, no, it's not good. Why? Because you are going to go down. Yeah. Why not? It's very close, no? It will slide back. So it's like ascending a small rope. I need to charge it. Then again. Charge it. Then again. Charge it. And I will continue. How many? Now up to 17. 17.
not clever to do it because we'll waste the time. So even if there are some relays going down, it's much faster to go there. Fast enough, you can just take it by hand and start descending. If not, you have to lock the ascender, manage your stops, and then start descending. While I'm going down, I will go at the middle of his legs, and you know, uh, I will try to be in a good position for both of us. Descending with the weak team, we should always use a great carabiner because it's overloaded. As I reach to the ground, I stop. I open the two carabiners, but the cow tail is still 
here. So I change the position, probably there's some water coming or something. So I go to a nice place for putting the wick thing. It's also recommended not to put the wick thing totally on the ground. At the first part, just you know, some part of this body weight goes. So we try to have you know better circulation and then slowly by slowly. So normally when uh, the weak thing is on the shunt, as you see the, the center is free and the load is over the shunt. Yeah. So the procedure is the same at first. Another point is when you are training, don't go away and then sit like this. Mm -hmm. Go it's the exact thing under the row and you know slowly by slowly put the weight on it. Sometimes he's taking the the sender or something and it may hurt the hand or something. Okay, we climb to reach the victim. When we reach to the victim. as possible. It should be enough to put the short cow stay as a second point. Now I change and I will pass the victim totally. So I will put my crawl over the descender. Totally past the victim. It's optional. When there is one descending, we do it. When it's not, we don't do it, not to waste the time. I just change the direction of the descender. It's just take a few seconds, and I take it totally out, and I put it in a way which I'm going to use it. But it's not necessary, you know, just when we have time. We do it. And the brake is also ready. And I lock the descender. It's so important to lock it well because I'm going to put the weight over it. Now it's time to release it. There are two techniques. First is by just strength. I use my power to do it. Sometimes we can have some tricks. For example, I put my foot at the you know, bottom of the victim and I try to take it out by my foot and also using my uh, hands for you know, releasing it. I'm not going to use it because normally if you are weak or if the victim is heavy, it's really impossible to do it. So we use a technique. This time, we need to have the and a carabiner, we put it over the shunt, like this, we use the foot loop, take it down. You see, I'm not using my hands to do anything, just my foot is, no. I take it slowly down. So, one advantage of take now being a foot loop separate is here. We 
never use shunt while rescue situation. So I just leave it down. Now he's separate and I'm separate. Just one cow sail is here. I will come slowly a bit lower and get ready to have two carabiner attached to the victim. Carabiner. I close one side. I get ready to go at the middle. I take it out. I put it here. I close it. I sit here. I take the hand Juma out. And I go in a good position to be comfortable both of us. Now I take the rope out and I come. If it's needed, it's really important to control the victim. It can be some rocks or something and he may be uh, unconscious. So if so, if so, he will be like this. So I use the tours to take some of his weight. And also, I will use one of my hands here, my foot if needed, and coming down. When I get to the ground, I have you know, just half of the luck to control this better. Take it out. And I'm not using my power for pulling him. Just using my body weight. It's much easier. I'm controlling him now. Well, just
conversation on it in the bay. And we want to take him down. So by his rescuer and come off, take me down. And show you how to pass the rebellion by descending troops. We need two descending troops, one me and one rescuer. It doesn't matter any position of the weekend. On the descender, tools or the ascender. And he come up and make it free. After that, take it down.
sit onto any place that we can. Ground. Yeah. 